Ladies and gentlemen, if you watch my channel, I'm pretty sure you play a lot of Call of Duty, you probably watch a lot of Call of Duty, and I actually got the opportunity to make a pretty cool video for you guys today about some competitive Call of Duty. It's something I don't often talk about on the channel, but it's a huge part of the Call of Duty community, and we are actually coming up on the biggest event of the year. So Call of Duty League reached out to me and said, hey, we want to promote this bad boy, we want it to be huge. So I said, yeah, let's do it. So what I'm going to be doing today is talking about the classes that the competitive pro players actually use why they use them and why they are so good now if you didn't know competitive call of duty is very different than just public matches there's certain weapons there's certain attachments and kill streaks that you cannot use and because of that the classes that the pros use are probably pretty damn different from the classes that you use so that is what we are going to be talking about in this video but first i gotta thank call of duty league for sponsoring this video i can't wait to watch the event if you didn't know it's on the 29th and 30th of August. The playoffs actually start today and you can check it all out by going over to the YouTube channel. It's the first link down in the description down there and everything is going to be on that YouTube channel. It's going to be live stream. So if you want to check it out, that is the place to do so. Now in this tournament, there are 12 teams from around the world battling it out for the prize pool and these Call of Duty League pros are legitimately the best Call of Duty players in the entire world. So just by watching this tournament, you will learn so many things and get better at the game so check it out first link down in the description subscribe to youtube.com slash cod league and seriously you guys will learn something just by watching now, speaking about learning things let's talk about these classes that the pros are actually using so as far as these classes the first thing you're going to notice with them is on every single one of the classes we're going to talk about today they all have these specialist kill streaks on and the reason for that is because kill streaks are actually not allowed in call of duty league so this is not only going to change our classes because we're using specialists it's also on top of that going to change some of the perks we use because they're not as good like ghost because there is no uavs now as far as the three classes that we're going to be looking at today these are essentially the only weapons that you're going to see in the cdl it's the mp5 the m4 and the hdr reason being they're just the best weapons in the game so the first class we're going to look at here is the mp5 now the thing with the mp5 is it's always been one of the best weapons in the game same with the m4 and that's pretty much the reason why these pros use these weapons is because one they have an amazing time to kill up close they absolutely shred compared to other weapons in the game and on top of that they are both incredibly consistent weapons low recoil easy to control easy to aim with good aim down sights time and that's where the mp5 comes in so this is often used a lot more on these smaller maps with close quarters engagements you don't have to pick people off as many head glitches an example of this is like ramaza for example when they're playing on that map a lot of people are using mp5s now the mp5 is definitely one of the best smgs in the game and the way that they choose attachments for weapons is based off of two things they want the fast time to kill which these weapons just kind of have they want low recoil so that they can hit targets really easily and they want a fast aim down sights time because if it's a slow aim down sights time that's going to make your time to kill much worse and in turn make your class worse and not as viable and with them they can snap on target so fast that the first person to aim is almost always going to be the first person to get the kill so that is what the classes are designed around so looking at this first class we have the mp5 with the m19 as far as secondary weapons go in the cdl you're going to see two things it's either going to be the m19 or believe it or not the combat knife now i know that sounds so strange that you might be using a combat knife in a professional game where everyone's using the best weapons but the reason why they use these is because you can move fast with them and if you can move fast you can get to the objectives faster remember in cdl they play domination hardpoint and search and destroy so they want to be on the objective as fast as possible and be able to move around the map as fast as possible so that's why you'll see a knife or an m19 as a secondary now, as far as the attachments we have for the mp5 first of all operator foregrip normally on my class i like to use the merc foregrip however the merc foregrip is banned so what they use is first of all the operator foregrip this is going to reduce the recoil on the weapon and since you can't use the merc foregrip it's basically like the next best thing on top of this they use 10 millimeter rounds why use the 10 millimeter rounds now a lot of people used to use these and at some point they got nerfed and the damage and range where they are improved is very minimal. It's only at certain ranges where this is actually going to improve your time to kill and it adds more recoil. So why use it? Because when you're in the top level of the game, if you don't have the fastest time to kill, 
the next person will use this attachment and will be able to beat you in that gunfight because they're using this attachment. So it kind of forces everyone who's playing to use this to have the best time to kill possible. Similarly, the stippled grip tape, the reason why they use this is for faster aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed. If you're not using the stippled grip tape, you're going to be at a big disadvantage because the other person who you're playing against will be able to snap on a target faster because of those faster speeds. On top of this, sleight of hand with a 10 millimeter rounds, you only have a 30 round magazine. So to be able to reload quick, get back in the action is super important. And the FTAC collapsible stock, this improves your movement speed and aim down sight speed for the same reasons that we talked about before. After this, for the M19, this is what they use. They only use four attachments on it, and it's the extended barrel. This is going to improve your damage range of bullet velocity. The lightweight trigger to give you a faster rate of fire, which is going to in turn give you a faster TTK. On top of this, stippled grip tape for the same reasons we talked about for the MP5, and sleight of hand for the same reasons as well. Now, where things get really weird, and this is this is by far the section, in my opinion, that is most different from pub matches, it is the perks. So as we talked about before, we're using these specialists, so six perks total. But the first perk, you're going to choose between double time and EOD. You'll see people use different ones based off of their play style and their team's strategy. Double time gets you to the objective faster, makes you move faster, whereas EOD makes it so explosions don't affect you as much. Now, the reason why we're using double time on this class is because we're also using tune-up. Tune-up makes it so that we get our field upgrades faster and for a field upgrade you can use a trophy system which blocks explosives in other words you don't really need to run eod if you have tune up with trophy system so on top of that for the second perk the pros use point man and the reason why they do is none of the other second perks really make sense for them there's no reason for them to use ghosts because they can't use uavs overkill there's they're not allowed to use restock they're not allowed to use so you're kind of just left with point man and that's what everyone's going to run with the specialist streaks so you'll be able to earn them a little bit faster and when you get assists they will also count towards your streaks now as far as the other three if you used eod before use double time now but we're using eod because we use double time on top of this battle hardened if you didn't use tune up use battle hardened or vice versa and then finally amped just because there's really nothing else that people can use that's going to make a difference for example people used to use cold blooded but there's really no point because you're not allowed to use thermals anymore in the cdl so cold blooded really isn't going to do much for you so these are the perks that you're probably going to see most frequently throughout the cdl championship weekend now, the final thing in the classes that you have to look at today is the lethal and tactile grenades so first of all for the lethal grenades the only things that they're allowed to use are some techs and frags so based off of the player what they like better that's what they'll choose but most people use some techs and then as far as tacticals your options are stuns flashes or smokes and each team's only allowed to use a certain amount of each so based off of the player they will choose between that but my preference is the stun now the next class we have here is for the m4 now the m4 has been a goat weapon since the very beginning since the game first came out and really nothing has changed there it's got nerfed a few times but it's still the preferred weapon of the pros between the mp5 and the m4 they each make up probably about 50% of the players that you'll see. Personally, I tend to see a little bit more MP5s, but again, it depends on the team and depends on the player. Some players prefer rifles, whereas some prefer the little bit faster movement of the SMGs. But these are the two weapons that you'll see. And there's a good reason for it. Like I said before, it once again comes back to a really fast time to kill. And on top of that, a really consistent fire rate and recoil pattern, which makes it easy to use. So this class is going to look relatively similar to what we saw with the MP5. This time I am using a combat knife as a secondary just to be able to move around a little bit quicker since the movement speed on an assault rifle is a little bit slower as far as the perks that we're using here choose between eod and double time as your first perk whatever you want to use and then the semtex and stun grenade stayed the same now as far as the attachments on the m4 again very different from public matches so first of all the compensator on the muzzle you can't use the mono suppressor so that is why we're using the compensator now as far as the barrel goes there's going to be two different ones that different players use it's between the m16 and the corvus barrel it's just what that player prefers i prefer the m16 but again i'm not a pro but those were the two you'll see in the championship on top of this commando foregrip for recoil stippled grip tape once again aim down sight speed and sprint out and similarly for the no stock that aim down sight speed is going to be improved greatly by this and you move around faster as well so this is another class you're going to see a ton in the pros and if you play any of the cdl playlists definitely one that you'll see other players using or you'll be using yourself the last weapon that we have here is the hdr and the hdr is one that you won't see nearly as much as the other two and you'll almost 
only see it in search and destroy. And what players use this for is to control lanes. So if they can aim through a lane towards a spawn and they can pick just one person off, their team has a huge advantage going into the rest of the game. So generally speaking, one person on a team will do this in search and destroy. Sometimes none will, but when you'll see it, it's generally one person on a team and they'll try to pick someone off right away across the map right at the beginning of a search and destroy round. The reason why the HDR is the sniper that they use is it's the most consistent one hit kill. And they're not using this as a really quick quick scoping tool or a way to kill people really quick. So you won't actually see a lot of attachments with faster aim down sights things, but you will see attachments that help and confirm that you will get that pick and you will get that one shot kill. So as far as this final class goes, it's relatively straightforward with the same perks, lethals, and tacticals. This time we're using the M19, so we at least have something that we can use when someone's at short or mid-range that's not the sniper. Uh, but most of the time, they often do try to get the kill with the sniper anyway. Um, but most of the time, once they've killed someone, they'll just go and pick up their weapon. That way they just still have an assault rifle or SMG as a weapon that they can use up close and personal. Now, with the HDR, this is all designed around getting that one-shot kill. So first of all, we have the 26.9. HDR Pro Barrel. Uh, this one's going to improve your damage range, bullet velocity, and recoil control, making it easier for you to get that one-shot kill. A lot of them use the bipod. I don't really think it's necessary on the weapon, but a lot of them used it, so I included it. On top of this, the variable zoom scope. This one is personal, so I personally really like it on the gun. I find it easier to aim with. A lot of pros also use this, but a lot also just use the stock scope as well. On top of this, the stock is the FTAC Stalker Scout. This one improves aim down sight speed. It's the only attachment on here that actually does so and finally focus this is actually important because if you get shot at across the map with a couple of ar bullets or smg bullets you're still able to pull off that shot because you have extra flinch resistance and once again just making it easier to pick off that one person and give your team the advantage so ladies and gentlemen these are the classes that the pros use i'm curious what you think about them what differs from your classes do you play in the cdl playlist and most importantly be sure to check out the link to the cdl youtube channel down below it's going to be a crazy event I can't wait to watch it and I'm curious what team are you guys cheering for what's your team who do you have personally I live right by Toronto so I gotta cheer for my local boys but you know you never can count out Scumpy and the Chicago Huntsman so we'll have to wait to see let me know what you think of all of this down in the comments if you enjoyed the video always appreciate it if you hit that like button if you're new to the channel like what you see be sure to hit that subscribe it's the best way to stay up to date on everything modern warfare check out that link down below to the CDL YouTube channel I hope you enjoyed and until next time Peace out. We are.